<laughs> I remember on my first Virgin Voyages sailing, there were so many things that I forgot that could have made my trip so much more smooth or would have made me not feel so out of place on that cruise. And so in this video, I'm sharing with you what I'm packing for my third Virgin Voyages sailing with Scarlet Lady, whether they are super important and do not forget to pack these items, or these will really help you to have a more fun or smooth sailing coming up. And if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is CL, and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. This is one of a lot of Virgin Voyages videos. There's a full blog post in the description below that talks through all of the items I'm gonna share with you today. And if you wanna score a heck of a deal on an upcoming Virgin Voyage, make sure you check out the description because my friend will hook you up, especially with that sailor loot. So let's dive in first with the things that you must pack for this trip. I've got seven items that will make you feel like you may have totally blown it if you don't pack these items, starting with something red. In other words, one of the biggest themed parties on Virgin Voyages is Scarlet Night. This is when everybody dresses up in, well, red, scarlet, and there's really fun activities all over the boat. I love to go all out on Scarlet Night and wear something, whether just very ridiculous ridiculous or very fun, but Scarlet Night is a night to definitely wear red. You don't have to go crazy. Literally buying a red shirt from Walmart is perfectly fine, but make sure you have something red so you feel like you can fit in at this party and enjoy the fun. The second thing, pajamas. Not pajamas to wear into your own cabin or stateroom, but rather pajamas for the PJ party. There's a PJ party under the stars, but I blew it on my first cruise. Cruise. And that's because I didn't realize that sometimes, not always, this party is held outside. And so my pajamas were not ready for the wind and it was slightly cooler than I anticipated. And so I was wearing a, a towel over my pajamas so that I could be warm and I just couldn't enjoy the party because I was cold. So bring pajamas and consider bringing pajamas that are cold weather ready. This next one is really important because I, I do, I appreciate that gratuities are included in Virgin Voyages, but especially on my first sailing, I was floored by how amazing the service is on this cruise. It really is above and beyond a lot of the other cruise lines that I sail with. And I really wanted to thank some of the staff. And at some points, I did not have cash on me. We just love how awesome the staff is on this cruise and we want to show our appreciation. This is an optional one, but I'm sharing it on this list because I felt like I blew it by not having the amount of gratuity I wish I had in cash on my first sailing. A passport. I know, I didn't want to put that first and nor did I want to leave it off the list, but my friends forgot their passport and they had to drive all the way back home and they barely made their sailing. So do not forget your passport. A music speaker. What? This is Virgin Voyages with association with Virgin Records. There's There really is really great music all over the ship, but I do rant about this in the <laughs> things I hate about Virgin Voyages video, link in the description below. But one of the things is within the room, room the, you cannot plug up your own phone or whatever to play music and so I am bringing my own speaker on board so that I can listen to my music and jam while I'm getting ready you know cuz gotta have those good tunes going on I was just reading some important news headlines one of which is you will have a 15% higher chance of having fun on Virgin Voyages if you cheers that like button consider subscribing all right let's get back to it. tootie 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 too bottles of wine. Ah, oh, I love drinking wine. And I do love that on Virgin Voyages, they're all about that Moet life. But I like to bring two bottles of wine on board, especially because there's no drinks package, right? And so I like to use this allowance. Not every cruise line allows you to bring wine on board. Virgin Voyages does. They do have a fridge in every stateroom. Um, also helpful, especially if you're bringing champs, champagne like I am, bring 
a cork, you know, in case you're not drinking straight out of the bottle and the whole thing in one sitting. And on their website, they talk about how you are supposed to hand carry on your two bottles of wine. But I ain't gonna lie, I don't wanna carry that on the day I arrive. It's heavy. And I wanna get to, you know, <laughs> drinking the cold stuff as soon as I get on board. And so I literally just stick it in my luggage and if they take it, they take it. But you know, they haven't so far. So let's let's see what happens on this trip. And also don't forget, yes, you can bring two bottles of wine per stateroom, not per person, per stateroom, but you cannot bring on any kind of alcohol. And if you're curious how much drinking costs, check the video in the description below. And don't forget, if you're trying to save money on this trip, hook up with my friend who will get you an amazing deal. Info on that also in the description below. And the next one is don't get sick. And the type of sick I'm talking about is motion sickness pills, whether it's Dramamine, but you know, that makes me honestly really, really tired. Um, and so I like to bring motion sickness patches. It's one of those things where sometimes you will have a smooth sailing and everything is fantastic, but wouldn't you much rather spend just a couple bucks on motion sickness medication that you have with you versus a few days not feeling well? It's just not worth the trade-off. These next set of items are going to help your voyage to feel so much much more comfy and smooth, which by the way, I'm actually legit using my own pack list, which I made after my first trip. Um, it's kind of twofold. One is like things you should have on a cruise. And then these are things specific for Virgin Voyages that I find very helpful, all of which we've talked about in this video. But if you want a printable pack list, yo, this is available to you, info in the description below. But here are some things that will make you comfy. Warm clothes for inside. If you're like me and you're going to warm places while you're sailing with Virgin Voyages, awesome. But they crank the air conditioning inside. So make sure you have warm clothes for inside that will help you to be more comfortable. You wanna know what's gonna make your wallet more comfortable? Not forgetting necessities. So on my first trip, I forgot a razor, a single razor, like a one, a one use razor, uh, disposable razor, cost me $16. I'd rather spend that $16 on alcohol. And so don't forget your necessities. Um, and oh, this might be important. Don't forget there's actually no luggage allowance limits on Virgin Voyages. In other words, to date, they don't have a limit on how many pieces of luggages you're allowed to bring on. Some cruises do have limitations, but Virgin Voyages allows you to bring on as much as you want. Don't forget if you're flying in, obviously, your airline carrier might have limitations to that, but you could stop at a store, buy all the things that you need and bring them on board. So don't forget your razor, your sunscreen, your all the other things that are on the list around the necessities that you might need. <laughs> Another one is hangover help. Uh, we really will detox and retox repeatedly on this cruise. And so having things like, um, I like to have ibuprofen with me or Tylenol. Um, some activated charcoal helps out. Um, and another thing is I love, I love drinking liquid IV. For those of you who follow me on social media, you know I do some things with liquid IV but make sure you have a hangover cure for when you feel like crap. This next one is, it's not fancy, it's more fun or funny. And that's around the type of apparel you bring. There's no formal nights. There's no, you know, bring out the gown and the high heels, unless you want to. It really is come as you are. And I love to bring out some of my most fun, funny um, outfits that aren't necessarily fancy. And I always go for comfort and bring your dancing shoes because you really will get your dance on on this cruise. And one of the other things that's really different about Virgin Voyages is they have an amazing fitness program. There are so many fun workout classes and it's really important to bring workout gear, your workout shoes, and participate because you don't have to pay extra, unlike other cruise lines, to participate in these things. So whether you're doing the dance classes or the bungee classes or the shake weight workouts, these are all things that you should participate in, but make sure you have enough workout clothes. Last cruise, Meatball didn't bring <laughs> enough workout shirts. And um, unless you plan on doing laundry on this trip, you're going to be stanky 
while you're doing those workouts. Let's talk about what not to pack, because there are a couple things on this list. We talk about some of the toiletries and necessities that you'll need, you know, and they do, they provide a lot of toiletries, your shampoo, your conditioner, etc. cetera. Um, bring your own if you want some specific brands, but they will also provide a hair dryer. So don't worry about packing your travel hair dryer for this trip. Also to leave at home is that silly looking lanyard that ain't making anyone look stylish on any cruise. No lanyard needed because on Virgin Voyages they use a bracelet. So your bracelet is your ticket for all of the things, getting on and off the boat, for pain, for blah, 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 blah. Tell me in the comments below uh, if you think the lanyard look is worth the functionality. There are plenty of things I do. I like to rock a fanny pack for the functionality. It looks pretty ridiculous. I'm curious about your opinion in the comments below. And by the way, if you have suggestions around things to pack, make sure you add them in the comments. We're all a community. Three more things not to pack. You don't need any power adapters. They will provide all of that stuff for you. Um, and there's plenty of outlets both in the room and around the ship, which is really nice, especially if, I mean, sometimes you gotta work on vacation. The next thing is anything flammable. So even something like candles and you cannot bring a drone. So on Virgin Voyages, they have a strict no drones policy. It's not even, you can bring it on board, but you can't do it. You can't bring it at all. They will take it from you at the port. So if you're wondering how someone has been able to fly a drone, uh, check out the info in the description below, because maybe I'll share that with you, or maybe you'll find it in my drone course. On the day that we depart, bringing on board with me on my person, I will have a refillable water bottle. And that's because they provide water stations all over the ship. They also provide um, a carafe and cups in your room, so you can and refill it. Your steward or stewardess will also refill that for you, but you can take it to the water refilling stations around the ship. Gotta stay hydrated so that I can get to drinking. And one last thing to keep in mind, because Virgin Voyages just does things differently. And that's why I made the video that it's not for everybody. It's really not for everybody. And so if you're giving them a try, don't forget to pack an open mind. The shows are different. The way they do things are different and yo that's what the industry needs we don't need more of the same stuff every day otherwise just keep sailing with the same people you've been sailing with try something new and come with an open mind it's gonna be so fun and if you want to score an amazing deal on your next cruise with some great sailor loot make sure you check out that info in the description below yo if you got some value out of this cheers that like button consider subscribing and i'll see ya on the next sailing ciao